Beautiful people, this is Chef Deepu. Welcome to Nature's Basket Cookathon in collaboration with Travel Dine. Today I'm going to make an Italian recipe, an Italian sweet dish. The name is tiramisu. This is going to be eggless, non-alcoholic. Trust me, it's going to be very delicious and you can make this at home in no time. So let's get started. You know what I've done? I have some whipped cream here which I'm going to whisk it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. This takes a lot of time and effort. And when you keep doing this, it's good for your biceps. Check out the consistency. Nice. There, this is the consistency what I'm looking for. You like it? Now, another key ingredient. We have mascarpone cheese. What I'm going to do is open the mascarpone cheese. Okay, so now when this doesn't happen, you make a hole here and it falls. You saw that? Lovely. Now what I'm going to do is use the same whisker and I'm going to whisk this mascarpone cheese. Basically, what we're doing is smashing the cheese here so that it's nice and creamy. It smells delicious. I swear. It's amazing. So let me just tell you one thing. This tiramisu is not authentic, but I'm going to tell you it's going to be very delicious and I'm going to make it chocolatey. Chocolatey tiramisu. There. Remove the cheese, excess cheese here. Yeah. So let's keep this whisk aside. Now, with the help of a spatula, what I'm going to do is drop this cream in the mascarpone cheese. Now, I'm going to add some sugar. Now we're going to bind this together. The cream and the mascarpone cheese and some sugar. Now the same process again. The cream. Some caster sugar. We bind it again. Now here the important thing is if you guys don't have caster sugar at home, what you do is take your normal sugar, put it in a dry mixer grinder and just grind it. There, caster sugar ready. No rocket science, only a lot of love when you make the recipe. Some more sugar for that extra sweetness. And finally, the cream. Now, you know what? The final ingredient in this mixture is going to be this. Guess what it is? It's cherry liqueur essence. This goes in here. Woo, smells so good. Bind it together. Now this ingredient takes the dish to a different level altogether. Okay, now this creamy, cheesy mixture goes inside a piping bag. Lovely. I'm going to leave this to set over here for a while. 
So guys, I have a coffee mixture over here, which what I did was I took coffee powder, added hot water to it, set it cool. And now, as I said, I'm going to make a chocolate version of tiramisu. I'm going to add in this delicious coca powder. A decent amount of coca powder. You can't overload the coca powder because coca powder is also bitter as well as the coffee. Let's mix this. Wow. Smells amazing, amazing, amazing. Mix it well. Now let's do one thing. Let's add in this, the cherry liqueur. Touch of cherry liqueur essence. Mix. Woo, amazing. Chocolate, coffee, cherry liqueur flavor. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be using digestive biscuits for this recipe. Usually in an authentic tiramisu, they use ladyfinger biscuits. But this will also do the magic. So what we do, come close. We mix, we dip this here. Dip, dip, dip. And boom. And now, I'm going to take this piping bag. You know what? We're going to add in fresh chocolate, milk chocolate. All these ingredients are available at Nature's Basket. Go get them from a store near you. You know what we're going to do is remove some chocolate flakes. So what you do is keep the chocolate bar, put the knife like this and you pull it towards yourself. There. The chocolate broke but that doesn't matter. Now check this out. Look at that, look at that, look at that and now this goes in here. So you're going to add one more layer to this. Now you know, you can add how many ever layers you want. My glass is big, that's the reason I'm adding, I think one, two, three, four, four or five layers. You can go up till eight, ten, depends how big is the glass, or even two is sufficient. Now we make this. So this looks amazing. Now you know what we're going to do is make it look more Christmassy. I don't know what it is, it's the first time I've heard. So let's do one thing. Let's decorate this with these Christmas decorations. I'm just kidding. They're edible chocolate. Finally, the star. This looks beautiful and I'm sure this is going to be very delicious too. Merry Christmas to all you beautiful people. It was lovely being a part of Nature's Basket Cookathon in collaboration with Travel Dine. And yes, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Deepu Gobind, your chef, signing off.